Let's make a quick summary of the U.S. Navy's Special Warfare Combatant Craft Crewmen, or SWICs, and their units, people, training, and missions. SWICs are a part of Navy Special Warfare, abbreviated NAV Spec War, which is the Navy's component of the U.S. Special Operations Command, or SOCOM. SWIC candidates are 17 to 30 year old men and women who have passed a pre-enlistment medical screening, have an ASVAB of greater than 104, and met the required standards on the SWIC physical screening test. Although the U.S. Navy was forced to open all special operations units to women, no woman has made it through SWIC training yet and the community is still all men. SWIC training is 37 weeks long and broken into five stages. Stage 1 is the Naval Special Warfare Prep School in Great Lakes, Illinois. This two-month course is designed to get candidates physically ready for the grueling trials of basic crewman selection. Stage 2 is NAVSPEC War Orientation in Coronado, California, where candidates learn SWIC history and the basic skills that they will be required to hone throughout the remaining courses. Stage 3 is Basic Crewman Selection. During BCS, candidates are trained, developed, and assessed. The focus of this course is on physical conditioning, water competency, teamwork, and mental tenacity. Stage 4 is the Crewman Qualification Course. In this phase, candidates advance to intermediate levels of seamanship and navigation and are introduced to various weapons and communication systems. Candidates become proficient in marksmanship, seamanship, maritime navigation, communications, engineering, small unit tactics, waterborne patrolling, mobility, and combat casualty care. Before graduating, candidates also attend survival, evasion, resistance, and escape training. CQT training will also qualify candidates in static line parachute operations. I want to highlight that SWIC training is some of the hardest in the world. Out of 100 men who start training, only 37 will graduate. Upon completing these requirements, trainees will receive their Navy SWIC pin. They are subsequently assigned to a boat team to begin preparing for their first deployment. SWIC missions include Visit, Board, Search and Seizure Special Reconnaissance Coastal Patrol and Interdiction Riverine Warfare Deception Operations Search and Rescue Operations In Support to Military and Civil Law Enforcement Agencies when I was active duty, one of the most unique capabilities that SWICs had was called MCADS, or Maritime Craft Aerial Delivery System. Imagine launching a boat out of an airplane, with Navy SEALs and SWICs jumping right out after it. Once you hit the water, you swim to the boat, get it ready, and then you execute your maritime mission anywhere in the world, anytime. This is one reason why bad guys can't and shouldn't sleep well at night. The enemy is always within our reach. Okay, there you have it, an executive summary of SWIX. I've had the pleasure of working with SWIX in a few countries now and have always been impressed with their abilities. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and to forward to a friend who needs to know this. Life is a special operation. Are you ready for it?